I had a patient come into clinic recently with a history of depression and she wasn't really keen on being on any medications so she wanted to know if I could prescribe supplements for depression. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Air, quadruple board certified psychiatrist, addiction specialist and lifestyle medicine physician. I do take supplements and I will tell you the four supplements that I take. Before we delve into supplements though, let us briefly talk about the difference between multivitamins and supplements. Multivitamins simply contain one or more vitamins such as folate, biotin, vitamin A or the B vitamins. On the other hand, supplements are products taken by mouth that contain a dietary ingredient intended to supplement the diet. This may include vitamins, minerals, herbs or botanicals and amino acids. Supplements may also have other ingredients such as enzymes, metabolites, extracts, concentrates and other additives. Multivitamins and supplements are a good cheap insurance policy against micronutrient deficiencies. They are necessary, however, if you are eating a healthy, balanced diet. A caveat to this, however, is prenatal vitamins, which should be taken by women planning to conceive or those who could conceive but are not using contraception. The question though is how many people actually eat as much colored fruits and vegetables as they should to get their daily requirements. I guess that's where the problem lies. Because most people do not consume their daily requirements of substances that can keep them healthy, it is okay to enhance your intake with supplements. In fact, under the guidance of a good physician, supplements can deliver profound health benefits. Practitioner grade non-GMO supplements are best as they have a higher quality and are not genetically modified. When it comes to treating depression, I understand that some people can be wary of taking medications to treat their symptoms. Understandably so, because you might be worried about the cost, potential side effects, or even the possible endless commitment to take an antidepressant. As a result of this, some people look at the option of treating their depression with over-the-counter supplements. I've looked at a few studies and also seen several patients who have been on supplements. In addition to seeing some studies, I have also seen some depressed patients who say they have benefited from taking supplements like fish oil, methylfolate, N-acetylcysteine, S-adenosylmethionine, also known as SAMe, St. John's wort, and even vitamin D. Some studies have shown that supplements may improve the symptoms of depression. For example, a review of five randomized controlled trials published in 2016 in the Journal of Clinical Psychiatry suggested that an acetylcysteine was well tolerated and eased depression symptoms. Also, another review of 40 studies published in the American Journal of Psychiatry found evidence to support the use of some E, methylfolate, omega-3 and vitamin D to reduce depression symptoms. Even though there are a few studies out there, the research is still very limited and the existing studies have produced mixed results. In view of the limited evidence and mixed results, I personally do not prescribe or recommend supplements for depression. Another reason being the FDA does not regulate the manufacture of supplements as it does for prescription medications. So what this means is that manufacturers do not have to prove that the supplements are effective or even tell you what the pills are really made of. Yes, this is despite the labels with the ingredients list. It is also important to note that people who may have benefited from supplements for their depression usually have mild depression. There are three broad categories of depression, mild, moderate, and severe. My recommendation for anyone with depression is always to get an evaluation with a mental health provider for proper treatment. Having said this, I do personally take supplements for my overall well-being, but I'll only take practitioner-grade supplements. 
Before I explain what this means, let me tell you the four supplements I personally take. One, Omega Genics EPA DHA 1000 fish oil. This contains omega-3, a special kind of polyunsaturated fat which helps to decrease inflammation. Omega-3 is found in salmon, walnuts, chai and flax seeds. It is usually made from fish, algae and seaweeds. You want to make sure you get your omega-3 from a good source as poor supplements can contain high levels of mercury. 2. Phytomultai this is a multivitamin which supports your body with essential vitamins, minerals, and protects your cells with antioxidants. It also contains B vitamins and magnesium which are very helpful for normal body functioning. 3. Nutrigems CoQ10 300 which helps drive ATP into your cells for healing and recovery. 4. Ultraflora Integrity this is a probiotic which helps support intestinal immune health. Now, these are supplements I take, but these are by no means a recommendation for you. I'll suggest you talk with your physician to find out the best supplements for you. I don't buy my supplements from regular grocery shops. I get the supplements from Metagenics and you can obtain supplements at a discounted rate from the link below. But other great supplement manufacturers include Zymogen, Nordic Naturals, Vital Nutrients, and Orthomolecular. It is, however, important to check with your physician to ensure you're taking the correct supplements and correct doses. When it comes to buying supplements, I always advise to buy pharmaceutical grade supplements as compared to buying cheaper over the counter supplements. Supplements are not regulated, and as a result, cheaper supplements often contain fillers, synthetic forms of vitamins, and reduced concentrations of the main ingredients. Common fillers found in over the counter supplements include dyes, cork, and other unnatural ingredients. In the case of herbs, the wrong portion of the plant may be used. For instance, if the active ingredient lies within the leaves, the manufacturer may include fillers like stems or fruits. Using the incorrect part of the plant or the wrong species means that the herbal supplement may be ineffective. Also, nutrients have different forms and need to be absorbed differently. For example, some nutrients are poorly absorbed in capsule form. What this means is that you may be taking a supplement that has zero effects. Pharmaceutical grade supplements are also called practitioner strength or medical grade supplements. This is because they are made by following the same standards as prescription drugs. These supplements boast superior quality as their ingredients least must match those within the actual product. They also do not contain harmful toxins and are better absorbed by the body. It is also important to buy non-GMO supplements. GMO means genetically modified organism. So non-GMO supplements are those that have not been modified by genetic engineering. Your supplements should also be GMP certified. This means that they are certified by leading independent regulatory certifying bodies that monitor the quality, purity, and reliability of manufacturing processes to ensure they meet public health and safety standards. You want to avoid mega vitamins and mega supplements. These contain high doses greater than the recommended daily doses. Some studies have shown an increased risk of heart diseases, cancer, and other diseases with these mega supplements. Doses higher than what the body needs can be toxic or the excess is simply broken down by the body. Studies show that vitamin supplementation supports only doses in the normal range. Going back to depression, I think it is also really important to remember that treating depression requires more than just pills to control your symptoms. You may also require counseling to help with your symptoms. 
you should also consider other lifestyle changes. Regular exercise helps with blood flow to your brain and endorphins which can help with mild depression. Eating healthy also helps enhance your mood so you should consider cutting down on junk food and processed food while increasing your intake of vegetables, nuts and seeds. Other lifestyle tenets like stress management, social connectedness and sleep hygiene go a long way in helping you feel better overall. I'll discuss this in a later video. In the meantime, you should let your doctor know if you're taking any supplements to help with your depression. This is because everyone is different and you need to know what is good in your particular situation. For example, if you're taking blood thinners, omega-3 supplements may increase your risk of bleeding. Also, St. John's Wort can reduce the effectiveness of some medications you may be taking. So it is really important to let your doctor know all the medications you're on and to help you decide on what's best for you. Please know that this information is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis or treatment. This does not constitute a physician-patient relationship. Please seek the advice of your physician or other qualified health providers regarding your health. For more information on mental health, subscribe to this channel and I will talk to you soon.